Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Absent Darkness here, and welcome back to Bendy and the Ink Machine. Now, first off, I would just want to apologize for waiting so long on Chapter 3. I tried to record it a while ago, but it just did not work. OBS caused the video to lag so much, so I had to scrap it. So, But now I'm using a completely different screen recorder called Flashback Express. What? And so, yeah, that's basically what's going to have to happen, so. But, I'm I'm just going to stop talking right now, and I'm, I'm just going to get into Chapter 3. This is the last time I'm going to see the original before Chapter 4 comes out. Probably a good idea to get this done. Yes, let's do it. Chapter 3, Rise and Fall. Here we go. Oh, this is running much better. I tried, I tried recording this earlier today, so this is working much better. I'm gonna have to turn the sensitivity up just to hair. There we go. Yep, there's Boris. This is working out amazingly. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these out of the way, like I did the first time. So right now we are in a safe house. So, yeah, I, I got. I wanted to get those bacon soups out of the way because uh, here and right now. I'm out of here that easy. Yep. He to open the door, but the lever is missing. Of course. Boris probably has it. Yep. So basically, find the door hey lever. Buddy, you seen that lever handle around? Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? I thought so. Let's see what we got. L let me let me play that back again. Holding it hostage until I make you something to eat. Yeah. That be enough. So. Yeah, I just had to get three soup cans for Boris. So, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Give me that. Give me that. Jeez. He always smacks me in the face. Or at least it, lo it looks like he smacks us in the face. Guess what? No reflection! So, either we're- what? Okay, um... I- 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 I think this is broken! Yep, give me this soup! Alright. So, yep, Miracle Station, uh, pretty it's much. Really dark up ahead. Let's find some light. You, you, you interrupted me as I was freaking talking. I predicted that there'd be a hiding yeah. mechanism. Bruh. Yeah, me either. You keep interrupting me, Henry. There we go. Another dead end. Oh, so did you see him, I'll like. See other way through. You got any ideas for us? Yeah, do you? Didn't think so. Yep. So, yeah, you, did you see that? He just slid on the floor. Yeah, this is kind of tedious. So, yeah. Also, by the, I don't know if I said this already, but by the time this was recorded, by the time this video was recorded, well... It's like literally the day before chapter wow. four comes out. I don't remember any of this. Which is actually really good because usually I like to play through the previous chapter just to get a refresher on what happened. So this is actually working really well. Why is there always something blocking the door? Gotta be a way through. Yeah. Think so? Alright, I'm gonna. I can't freaking reach that. Can I? Oh, barely. There we go. I don't be seeing what the big deal is. So what if I went and painted some of those bendy dolls with a crooked smile? But sure no reason for Mr. Drew to be flying off the handle at me. And if he really wants to be so helpful, he could be telling me what I have to be doing with this warehouse I got full of that angel, whatchamacallit. Not a scrap of that mess, he said. You probably have to melt it all down to be rid of it all. Okay, so yeah, that's actually voiced by Jack Septa guy. 
I know that because, well, I've watched a few Bendy videos, and uh, especially a bit Ryan, he knows that DA Games and the, uh, yeah, DA Games, uh, 8 bit Ryan, they all know him. Why is there an Alice plush with her head chopped off? At least this one's perfectly formed. And a headless Boris. Good stuff! Wow, this is gonna take a while. Okay. There we go. Through here. Get me Dallas Angel. Ooh. I'm gonna have to, all this little little details here. Yep, there we go. I just realized that door closes on its own. This place is haunted. Okay, lay down. Lay down. Cole, just just cut this out, bro. Come on. Come on, I don't I don't see why you're gonna need to keep this in. Whoa! Yep, I remember this. Hi! She's like the Bendy version of Two Face. Yep. And it's creepy. Right here. And it's pitch black. Frick. Nope, I don't believe I am. So, I'm gonna try and get the Tommy gun in this playthrough. I have played it quite a few times, so I know some of the bits and pieces. So, Demon Root, it is. When you cut out here, I'm gonna smack you. And just listen to this. There's nothing wrong with dreaming. Wishing for the impossible is just human nature. That's how I got started. Just a pencil and a dream. We all want everything, without even having to lift a finger. They say, you just have to believe. Belief can make you succeed. Belief can make you rich. Belief can make you powerful. Why, with enough belief, you can even cheat death itself. Now that is a beautiful and positively silly thought. You don't see it. Oh, another thing, Benny for some reason gets stuck in this hallway. Now Mike Moo did say that that was gonna be fixed with the release of chapter four. So it's, in other words, it's gonna be released tomorrow. But until then, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, when the time comes, I'm gonna chop out all the cutouts. I've said too much already, I'm not gonna spoil it. But he does get stuck in this hallway at a certain point, so I'm gonna do something else to try and avoid that. Boris! Oh, you scared me to death. I don't suppose you found anything we can use to protect ourselves with. Yes, he has. He's got a freaking pipe. Looks like to open uh, this, we need to throw two levers at once. You get this one. I'll find the other. Yep. Let's go, bro. And the Butcher Gang. I've gone this through this jump scare way too many times. So hi, Piper. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ow. Yeah, frick it. <laughs> so, yep, this non miracle station. Might as well get in, show you guys what it's all about. Hi, Boris. <laughs> He's just like, Colt, what are you doing? So... I wonder if I can... Yep, I can head in through here. Shortcut! Although if you try to get... If you try to hide down here... Freaking... If you try to hide down here while Benny's chasing after you... Well... Not gonna work. Yeah, you can get over that rail right there. Really now? One that I'm not looking forward to. Ah! Got him. What? 
I gotta say, I love how huge this map is. Like, you don't know where you're going at times, but at the same same, same time, it provides perfect um, things for exploration. I just spit all over the screen. No thanks. Okay. Go on, Boris. So, by the way, this is a save point right here. Which, by the way, if you guys have seen other playthroughs of Bending the Ink Machine, you definitely know this crap. I'm listening to this for you guys. Mr. Joey Drew keeps cutting corners like this. Someone's sure to end up falling to their death. And it sure ain't gonna be me. I'm taking the stairs. Yep. <laughs> Which I'm I'm probably gonna take the stairs anyway. Just to add a, more of a challenge for me. Cause I'm not gonna try to like do whatever I can to get the Tommy gun. Cause uh, what I need to do from this point on is not die. And uh, if I die at all, then that's fine, because there's a freaking OP axe that I can get for free without having to do anything, and yep. This right here. Yep. Alice Angel did all this. Yeah, that uh, female Two-Face we saw. Yep, so there's a theory going around, around, by the way, guys, that, like, this Alice Angel has, like, two, uh, two different, um, like, you know, uh, sides. A good side and an evil side. Who would have thought? Me, having lunch with Joey Giroux. Apparently times are tougher than I thought. For a moment there, I thought I'd be stuck with the check. But I gotta say... He wasn't at yeah. all what I expected. Quite the charmer. He even called me Alice. I liked it. Okay, so yeah. Now we come to the question. I'll let her finish her thing. Do I tear you apart to my heart's delight? Uh, no. How's a girl to choose? <laughs> Don't know. Looks like something already did, gal, yeah, sis. I don't know. It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like fish in a bowl. Okay then. Really now. Almost perfect, you say, eh? Yep. Return to the lift, my little boy. Okay. Really now? My also, I just noticed. What the? Hearts. Also, I just noticed the uh, um banner texture. It reflects backwards on the back. What's with that? So, she said that she needs spare parts, collects five special gears, search gear boxes on level K. Yeah. So little truths. But there is one rule in. we all know and respect down here. Beware of the demon. 
Yeah. Stay out in the open for too long and he will find you. Of course you enjoyed it. Jiminy! Yeah, frickin' searcher. I will mess you up. He says, like, 20 seconds after he already messed the searcher up. Good frickin' timing, Cole. Good frickin' timing. Have you met him? The ink demon. Uh, yeah. They say he Okay. I always get paranoid when she says that, because ah, I got a searcher and a piper. Get out of here. Stop that. One down. Give me that freaking gear. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, last time I tried recording Bendy Chapter 3, the failed recording, there was actually a glitch I encountered where, like, the Piper, I would kill him multiple times, but he would just respawn immediately right here. It was entertaining, because I got to kill him immediately afterwards. Shut up! I don't care! There we go, what the... I'm probably gonna have to turn down sensitivity again, because, yeah. Oh, jeez. Lag is real. I have a little hat to know which ones are which. Which ones have gears in them. Oh jeez. I know what this means. Every time I start up the game for, for the first time, whenever it does that... This one's empty. I forgot to use the hack. But um, every time it does that, where it like freezes up for a sec, that means you know who is on the run. Yes, Bendy. So, yeah, let's go. One right here. Yeah, the hack I have, you can hear the gears turning in it. Yep, thanks. But yeah, so uh, the little hack you can do, next time you play Chapter 3, just go up to the gearbox and listen. If you hear gears turning, that means it's in. If you don't, well, skip it. Oh, shut up. Here we are, back on level nine. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, great. Sounds gross. Really now? If you're gonna catch them, you'll have to learn to move quietly. Great. Come back to my door. I have something that you'll need. Really? Yep. This is one of the ones I hate because, well, the fisher attacks you when you're on level 11, which is where I need to go. And he is honestly the most powerful of them all because two Two or three hits, and you're dead. One right here. Son of! Yep, here we are, level 11. There's the Fisher over there. I'm gonna have to kill him first off. Ow! Bro! <gasps> no! No. Okay. That, that was not Bendy. Oh. No, please no. <gasps> I shape frick. Really, Bendy? Really? Well, at least he's going to kill the fisher for me. But really, Bendy? Jeez. Really? You come out you come out right as I come out. 
What the? <laughs> yep, there he is. There's the ink demon. Yep. I just wow. Yeah. Also, why why did Fisher's head get? Jump back. I think he's out of range. Okay. Yep. Got that. Got that from Fisher. Don't need to worry about him anymore. Kaboom! They just explode. If there's the freaking ink portal that I came out of. Stab! Stabby, stabby, stab, stab! The projectionist. The creepiest thing ever. I'm a. Head right here. Play this. Advocate! Everyone's walking around here like Grandma just died. Nothing but angry faces everywhere. These people gotta lighten up. I mean, hello, you make cartoons. Your job is to make people laugh. I'm telling you, if these people don't okay, no. it's okay. Now and then, I'm out of here. Yep, he still does that. Hi! Frick ya! Yeah. Ow, what the? Stop that! Sheesh! Okay. Bendy, do not pop out out of nowhere. If you do, I will freaking mess you up. Even though I can't even hurt you. So. Malachi, it's okay. Malachi. Malachi, no. Sorry, guys. My, I think my dad just got home. And my dog's freaking out about it. There's uh, another ink machine right there. Cool little Easter egg. Malachi! Malachi. Stop it! I will mess you up! Stop it! And here we are, level 9 again! I am gonna have to take the elevator eventually for one task, because the level I gotta go to for that particular one is not accessible with the stairs. Really now? Yep. Which, by the way, this plunger. This plunger, though, I mean. It is one freaking powerful plunger. So I gotta go to level B, which is directly above us. Oh no. Okay, where'd he disappear to? Yeah, here's level P. This is actually at his home home to my favorite Butcher gang enemy. I knew you were gonna pop up. This is freaking dangerous.
Here we go. Gotta match these up. There we go. There we go. He did. Oh. Where? Oh, wait. I forgot that Bendy's presence causes the Butcher Gang enemies to die, so the striker must bend in here and Bendy's ink web killed him. Makes sense. Yeah, freaking stop it. Stop it. Okay, don't believe any more in here. There is not. I think all the rest are over there. Stop. This room is probably the most laggy in this level. Ah, crap. Is the smoke? That smoke is frickin'. Here we go. Here he comes again. There he is. Can't see me through the glass somehow, but he's there. Looks so creepy, doesn't he? gonna go through that right there the wall he, that says he'll he will set us free yep there he goes ink portal opens up there he goes he gone Yes, I am. Okay. I'm a little paranoid when Alice Angel talks, because, well, honestly, one time I completed the task, and as soon as Alice stopped talking, and that objective returned to Angel popped up, Bendy spawned in the same room I was in. I gotta find a way to cool down this computer real quick. I'll be right back. Here we go. I think this this will work as well. 
Actually, that works really well. I'm gonna do that real quick. Andrew. All right, I'm gonna keep recording, okay? You're good. I'm actually in a point that I'm gonna cut out anyway, so. You're all good. Job it. Here we go, level nine once again. Also, guys, sorry for the background noise. My parents are uh, in the room with me. It's fine though. Here we go. Let's see what you got. Yes. Let's remove them, shall we? Oh yeah. Nice, the axe. Yeah. Let's do this. So now we gotta chop up those bendy cutouts we saw earlier. Now this is the thing I'm gonna do differently. You see, you see what I'm gonna do is uh, so that hallway I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Anyway, that hallway that Bendy gets stuck in every now and then, to avoid that and to avoid dying ultimately to him, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, and I'm going to go to Heavenly Toys, because that's where I'm usually, that's where I usually go last. That's where you're usually supposed to go last during this mission. It's your freaking... But yeah, so, you're gonna go there first. Merc mo- Merc? Work my way over. Murka here. Stop it. Go. I'm here on the Piper. The frick is he? Holy! Oh, jeez, Striker! Stop that. Yeah, there's the Striker. And Bendy is up there. Close up. Ready for close up, Bendy? Hoosh. Yeah. Creepy. Ain't gonna get me. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So I'm just gonna chill in here, real quick. So Bendy leaves. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Go away, Bendy. And he's gone. Nice. Ness. Okay, so you could stop that. Oh my gosh, the lag. So, here we go.
Here we go. Yeah, frickin' searcher. You better get a little time for this. Frickin'. All right, guys, we're here at the Heavenly Toys, and Bendy has decided to show up over there. So, I'm gonna wait for him to pass by. Where is he? Where is he? He's coming up the stairs now. Okay. Holy. Yep, there he goes. Yep, there he goes. So, let's go chop galore. Right there again. We got time. We got time. We got time. And that's all the cutouts. Let's head in here. Wait for him to pass. He is getting too close for comfort. What is he doing? Oh, here he is. He really doesn't like that. Okay. So, now I'm gonna head up back over, chop the rest of these dang cutouts. Let's go, I'm a choppity! Is he gonna come over? I wonder if he's gonna come over at all. I can kind of see. Oh, he is definitely coming over. That is a definito. Actually, might as well make a break for it. Is yeah. Don't know if that counts, but who cares? Here we go. Looks like I might get the Tommy gun after all. Keyword being might, because there's a very difficult portion coming up. Yeah. 
screw them. Screw him. How many do I have? Two left. Did I miss one? I know there's one right there. Come on and chop it. Yeah, I missed one. But where? Ah, I see ya. I see ya. You can't hide from me. What? Okay, I'm safe. Nice. I'll see you guys back down at level 9. Shut up. Yeah, also, I'm thinking, I think it might be a good idea when I get back down to level 9, there's a boarded up door with a tape recorder and that OP axe. So. I can't chop that, dang it. But, uh, I can, however. Jump, 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 boom! I can, however, chop those. Anyway, there's a tape recorder and that OP axe in a boarded up room, so I think I better go and get that chopped up. And the firewood. Yeah. Frick yeah. we go. Oh, uh, Bendy's still around. What the? Stop it! There we go. So, yep, here's that axe. And, uh, yeah, let's listen to this tape recording. Hey, say, uh, the real problem with Mr. Drew is that, uh, he never actually tells us little people anything. Oh, sure. According to him, there's always big stuff coming, adventure and fame and the like. But uh, I'm the guy, see, who has to make sure our budgets don't go all out of whack just because genius upstairs went out and got himself another idea. <sighs> Speaking of which, and this is top secret, apparently Mr. Drew has another large project in mind now. And it ain't gonna be cheap. You don't say. All right, so that's opened up. What's, is Boris still? Yeah, he's still freaking out. But, hey, got one more thing to do. And, whoo, I think I'm ready for this. Let's get it. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, here they come. Striker is the fastest. All right. Come on. Help you? Okay, stop it! Stop that! Dang it! 
Yeah, thank you. Okay, so... Yep, nope. Didn't work out. Stop it. So, nope. Not gonna get the Tommy gun. But I can still get that axe, so... Hey. Not my problem. <laughs> so... Here we go. Let's do this. Really now? I shall! Get frickin' searcher, get out of here! You ain't gonna help! Stop it! Ow! You could just stop that! I'm probably gonna die! Yes! Okay, now it's just the fisher! Come at me! Ow! Okay, gotta do the same thing for this guy. Yeah! What the? Okay, that was just his wrench. I guess it's nice. I mean, really. Yep. Take the lift down. Say hello to an old friend. Send him a little present. A little firepower. Take good care of it. It belonged to someone very special. Yeah. Oh, let me guess. Yep. Yes, indeed! Alright. So, yeah. I'm gonna head up get that axe. Frickin'! Alright. Give me that! Yeah! What the? Okay, I thought I saw something highlightable in there. I don't know what I'm freaking saying. I'm just talking to my freaking butt. Now we gotta go down level 14. Hi, Bars. And here we are. Look at this frickin' place. Lots of ink in there. Okay, that means ink bendies up, and we're collecting hearts now. Great. There he is. The what if I do? I'm gonna listen to this for you guys. No, I'm not looking for trouble. It's just the nature of us protectionists to seek out the dark places. You see, I've learned the ins and outs of this used to be. Well, screw the tape then! Guess we're fighting! Fighting you! Frick ya! Yep. Yeah, you probably already know this, but if you kill projectionists, 
Well, you get an achievement, and it's called Norman's Fate. So, yeah. I have a pair of headphones here. Huh. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, listen to this for you guys again. No, I'm not looking for trouble. It's just the nature of us projectionists to seek out the dark places. You see, I've learned the ins and outs of this here studio. I know how to avoid being bothered by the likes of this company. That projectionist they always say, creeping around, he's just looking for trouble. Well, trouble or not, I seize everything. They don't even know when I'm watching. Even when I'm right behind. Yep. So this is Norman Polk right there. Yeah. My favorite character so far. Just for the fact that he sounds like a black guy. And I love black people. They're just so awesome. Anyway, we gotta find a bunch of hearts. can't even. You don't have one either. Well, frick yeah. Oh, you have one. This thing gets your face, though. Like a pillow. I love these little animations, these cartoons that the Meatly made. Yeah, have one? I see the shimmer. You got one? Nope. You got one? Nope. This is a freaking maze. It's literally a maze, by the way, guys. Already checked you. Already checked you. I'm outside again. I need to get back in. You don't have one. You have one. You do not. How many do I need? I need five. So I just need two more then. You have one? No, you don't. You have one though. Okay, one more and I will be golden and it's right here Okay, then It's a graphic Like Example Word choice. I don't know what I'm freaking saying anymore. I literally just went around in a frickin' circle. Good job, Cole. Good frickin' job. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. I am back out. Nice. Ah, jeez. Also, there's one more thing I gotta show you guys. I'm gonna... Go to the other side through this way to show you. But there's a really cool secret that the Meatly put in here. Very cool secret. You don't need even need the axe for this, by the way. Chop all this down. I'm just gonna chop this down and that down as well. Gonna break this. 
if I can. Yep. And then this valve right here. Yo, so now we gotta go up to level P. So, gotta go up to level P and then over.